Hello everybody, it's been a long time getting comment like. Can you do a video about your VS Code setup and the extension you use? Especially what extension are you using for this widget line tree? Each day I'm getting minimum one comment like that, so I decided let's make video. I think most of you guys want this widget line tree, maybe you already figured it out. If not, let me show you. At first you need to go to settings. You may use shortcut which is command plus comma. Type dir, then scroll a bit, you'll find preview flutter ui guides enable this and custom tracking let's talk about theme i'm using dark plus theme if you want to use it go to settings then type color theme then select dark plus theme for those beautiful icons i'm using extension called material icon theme if you want to use it install the extension then click on this set file icon theme Let's talk about shortcuts that I'm using each and every day. If you want to run your Flutter app on any simulator, just press Ctrl F5. It takes some time to build the app. Now you can hot reload or restart your app from here. VS Code hot reload the app when I saved any changes. If you want the same, go to setting, type hot reload on save, then enable this two option. Do you know you can create new Flutter app from VS Code? Not just that, you can literally do anything using VS Code Common Palette. Press Command Shift P for Common Palette, then type Flutter. As you can see, it shows a lot of options. You can open Dev Tool, run Flutter Doctor, launch Emulator, even upgrade Flutter and more. Not just a new project, you can create module, package, or plugin. Let's say we just created our new project, now it's time to add some packages. Open command palette, type dirt, it shows a lot of options, but we are interested on add dependency. Now it's time to type our package name. You can publish your project to GitHub using command palette, the process is same. Press command sheet P, then type git. Select publish to GitHub. Also you can clone your project or add any project from github. Common P will let you navigate to any file of your project, which is pretty helpful, used it a lot. Let's say you wanna wrap a wizard with new one, or add padding to any wizard. Or maybe you wanna remove a wizard. For any of those, press Ctrl Shift R. It gives you a lot of options like wrap with row or column, or maybe you wanna create your own wizard. It's pretty usual BS code shows error or warning. Do you know these shortcuts such as the solution? Also for me, most of the time it solves the problem. What you need to do is find the error, then press command dot. That's it. If you want to find the recent projects that you are work on, just press Ctrl R. Let's say you want to replace hello to hire. Select hello, then press command D for two times. As you can see, now we can replace all hello to high at once. Also use few more shortcuts like command B for show or hide the explorer. Command W for close the current tab. That's it for today. Hope you liked the video. Let me know what is your favorite shortcut.